What is going on, everybody? Let's have a heart to heart. Let's talk a little bit about a special crypto that we've talked about before. We've seen it on the channel. You've seen it a number of times. And everybody who was involved in it, everybody who told you, hey, this is going to be the next big thing. Hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. They didn't do anything, okay? I think that it's important that each and every crypto gets a chance. Here's what happened, and I'll summarize it for you. This crypto went through a, a big pump, went up to about 20 million market cap, then it dumped super hard, and it turns out all the people that you trusted, all the people that were out here every night, every night, doing spaces, doing everything they could to try to pump this up, what did they do? Every single one of them, almost to a man, dipped out, sold their bag, dumped the chart, didn't do anything that they spent days and weeks and months telling you this was what was going to happen. You know what was going to happen? They were going to recreate some kind of magical concept that was out here from 2021. Yeah, you guys might get it by now. I'm talking about Saitama. You know what? All of those guys, all of those, oh, I'm going to be here forevers, they disappeared. They started exiting the chat. They started doing whatever, and you saw big sale after big sale after big sale. So eventually, what happened? Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, and once we're done relitigating this thing, uh, we're going to talk about the future. And it starts with that right here. This, this right here, right here, right here. You see that right here? Where did Faltron go? This was all about uh, Faltron was going to, uh, this was, we, we, where did Faltron go? What happened? What This was going to be the next big thing, right? And this was going to be one of those, you know, it'll, it'll you know, go back to the uh, the $7 billion market cap that it got in 2021. Uh, this is a new thing. We're going to follow the, the script. We're going to do all this kind of stuff, right? None of those guys stayed. None of those guys. Every one of them. Every, and by the way, guys, you know what I have said since the beginning about all of these people. You know what I've said about all of these people. Let me tell you something. Personally. Person, I'm going to be personal with you for a second here. I got Faltron's phone number. Um, he and I have talked on the phone multiple times. Um, are we friends? No, we're friendly. Uh, we don't have, I don't have a problem with Faltron. I don't have a problem with anybody. You're either here for the ride or you're here for the long haul, right? And it looks like every single person sold on you, wrecked the chart, went their separate ways. And I'm in a chat, by the way, with, with a bunch of them where... They just move from project to project to project to project to project, and they just dump and dump and dump and dump and dump. And that is part of this war, if you will, in crypto. They're doing really what they should be doing. Uh, they're they're going out and they're finding the next big thing. They're finding another big crypto that they should be uh, getting into. They're trying to pump their bag, and then they're trying to move from project to project to project to project. They're not looking for a home because crypto is still PVP. PVP simply means that it's you versus me for profit, right? I don't subscribe to that. So what I did is I put my wallet out and I said, hey guys, if you want me to, and this is a, a little project that I had, and I said, hey, any meme coin that donates $400 in USD of their product into my wallet will get a video on YouTube and X, and that's what we're doing right now. But before we get started with it, I'm going to let go about what I felt about the previous Saitama that was out there. Not the first one. You already know what I thought about the first one. I'm talking about the second one. Uh, the one that the one that Faltron ended up taking over, right? Uh, and then, you know, of course, he's disappeared. But, it, and, and by the way, when, when I say that, I, I don't want to sound bad. I don't care. We, you know, like you don't have to be here for it. It's no big deal. Um, Faltron doesn't have to be part of any kind of special thing at all and doesn't make him a bad person. So let's clear the air here. I don't like that he kind of disappeared, but he's got his own thing to do right? Um, Alan, gone. Princess, gone. All of them, gone. They all just, doom. Uh, and by the way, some of them, some of them were here in 2021. They were all like, oh yeah, let's run it back. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. It got up to 15, 20 million market cap and they sold the shit out of it and dumped on you. All the while they were telling you, hold on, hold on, keep holding your bag. Guys, we're going to take it to the moon. They didn't even have any anymore. Why do you think all the spaces stopped all of a sudden? Because they sold on you. They pumped the chart, they got you up there, and then they moved on. And they've been moving on and moving on and moving on over, over and over and over and over again. Okay, now I'm done with that. Um, and by the way, I don't wish anything bad for them. I don't dislike any of them. Again, they're doing PVP, and that's really what everybody should be doing. But for those of you that don't, for those of you that are looking for something that's a long-term hodl, 
I'm going to explain Saitama to you so that you guys get an understanding of why just hold on to it. Hold on to it and just see what happens. And if you don't, that's okay. But, but if you do, then guess what? There was a time when the old Saitama went absolutely bonkers and it went crazy. Will this one do the same thing? I don't know about that. I don't know. You know, if it does, look, if this thing does a 10 million market cap, you could potentially change your life with your entry point right now. Okay, no, no BS, no lies, no deception. Crypto is about retail. Retail is about narrative and narratives are about communities. And there's a community behind Saitama and there will be a bigger community as people start to come back. Let me explain it to you and let me break it down for you first. So the new token address is this one right here. I'm gonna put it in the link down below. And the new address is SaitamaWolfpack.com. This is the new one. You'll notice there's been a, a, a redesign. They're not uh, using the old One Punch Man kind of stuff here. Uh, they came up with another different design. Very similar, but but uh, still a, a new design. 100 million is the supply. Six decimals. 2% um, on all transactions. And by the way, um, uh, th that 2% that on all transactions is buys and sells. And that's pro prohibitive sometimes in the early stages of something right now, especially in this no retail zone that we're in right now. But it's for the good of the project in the long term. Can you revoke? Is the is the revoke mint done? Yes, it is. Is the revoke authorities done? Yes. And revoke updates? No, in case changes are needed to taxes and the tax wallet. So uh, at some point, once this thing starts to fly, then they'll remove the, t the tax transaction if, when the timing is right. But right now, it's about funding all of this stuff. Remember, these guys, this previous group of people, they all got scammed by all kinds of different people. Uh, uh, um, uh, Prince, I think his name was, uh, he called himself Prince. Uh, he was out here scamming all these people uh, with, with promises that he was going to spend $250,000 and, and get like listings and just you know it was a it was really crazy so enter tom toronto this protein shake from burgadishu who stepped up took charge of the project and is starting to work on it now here's the thing it's frustrating for people especially for tom and people like this because this is not the market where things absolutely run here's what you get you get a pump you get a dump that's what you get what you're looking for is an entry position in which you if you're one of those people, can make money. Now, if you decide to hold for a long term, great. If you tr if you decide to create a moon bag, uh, awesome. That's going to increase your floor. That's going to increase the floor price for the project, right? The more people who come in, the more that happens. But you have to find a spot in which people want to invest and people want to get back in. And the market has to flip. Remember, we're all looking at October. We're looking at October, we're, we're, we're thinking it's going to go crazy. It hasn't gone crazy yet. So here we are right now with Saitama and we got Tom Toronto in charge. Everything so far has been smooth. However, let's look at the price. Price is about 200,000 market cap with 48,000 liquidity. Now, if you zoom out here just a little bit, then you will see that not that long ago, it was at one penny. So it was about 5X where it is right now. 5X where it is right now is about a million market cap. Now, is it supported? Yes. What will it do? Continues to accumulate. Now, 24 hour volume only 5,000. However, if you go back and you really look at this, there were days when it had 20, 30, 40, 50,000 uh, volume. So there is a little bit of money in the coffer for them to start making some sort of moves here and there, right? However, and you see this right here? We're gonna move to a one day chart here. Since the market started correcting to the downside, since we hit that last 68,000 for Bitcoin, uh, it, it's been downhill since then. And that creates frustration and that leads people to exit their position. That leads people to take losses. Dummies, dummies, really. You're just moving money over at this point from one place to another. Now, if you notice down here, there's a, there's there's uh, big buys that are, that are that keep coming in. And what that is, uh, those buys coming in uh, from similar wallets all the time market makers. So what's happening here? Market makers are holding up the, the floor, creating price action, uh, creating volume for the, the, the project to attract new investors on a day like to today when the market has been dipping and very, very volatile. People aren't looking for these types of plays. But guess what? At some point very soon, people are going to be looking for these types of plays. Now, let me take it one step further, just on the off chance that you don't understand how this works. 50% of the price pairing is based on Solana. Solana, my friends, is down to $136. It was $170 right over here. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen when Solana reverses? And it will reverse. This thing's going to blow up. This thing is just by default. 
by default. If you were to add 100% of price onto Solana, you will get a FOMO here, plus you will get uh, an enhancement in your price action, and the price would immediately go to about 0 0.003. So you get a 50% bump in your price if you get a 100% increase in Solana. If you just get a nice little increase with just natural people coming in to invest and finding projects, this thing is gonna pump. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. It is my estimation, I'm just gonna make a wild guess here. My estimation here, this thing is gonna go to a $5 million market cap, maybe even a 10 or $15 million market cap in October or November as we start to do this little run up, right? Now, you have a, you have a decision to make. Do you wanna be part of it? Or do you want to miss out on something yet again? You're at the bottom. There, by the way, do your own research and figure out for yourself. Is there more bottom? I mean, there could be. The market, you know, the market gets a little bit wonky, and uh, I, I wouldn't go all in on anything. I would, you know, put a couple hundred bucks in here, and then if it goes down, DCA. Uh, but at some point, there's going to be a reversal of the entire market. The market's going to go ballistic. The bull run's going to start, and then what's going to happen here? This, 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 this two hundred thousand dollar project is going to be a, a $2 million project. You're going to 10X, easy. And then from there, what if you get a little win behind your sales and then you're going to 10 million market cap? It's a 50X. It's a 50X. And what if you go to a 20 million market cap? It's 100X, okay? It doesn't take that much because you're already at the, the ground floor level. When I tell you to look for charts like this, this, this is what you're supposed to be looking for. If you want to make that move and you want something to actually really happen, there are two places where you get in. You get in at the launch and it pumps up or you get in on the dip when it comes down and then boom. Let me show you guys, just so you understand what I'm talking about, another project that I'm involved in. Devi, been coming down for a long period of time. And guess what? It was coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. You see this move right here? This is what I think is going to happen with Saitama on Solana. Uh, it was at 12 cents, basically. It's down here, right there, 12 cents. What happened? It started pumping and it pumped all the way up to 50 cents. So what was this? This was... 300% from the bottom. This was an easy 3X, and this was just a couple days ago. This was just a couple days ago. So this is an easy opportunity for you on Saitama, on Solana, to get back in and look for a move at least minimum, minimum, into this range right here, which is, that's your kind of destination zone. That's where all your traffic is. And that's uh, two zeros 45. That is two and a half X from where it is right now. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is easy money. All you have to do is put your little nest egg in here, rest a little bit, give it an opportunity for it to explode and blow up, and then watch it go. Of course, the timing has to be right. You have to buy at the bottom and you have to not be scared. Don't be a baby. You invest, you put your money in, and then you wait and you let you let the cook make the dinner, right? Just let Tom Toronto cook, put your money in, let it ride for a little while, and just see what happens. And I got a feeling here that this thing is going to head up into that $5 million range probably a lot sooner than most of us think. But that's just my opinion, and I'm not a, I'm not an, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do with your money. I can tell you what I'm doing with my money. I can tell you what I see here on this chart. I can tell you what I believe to be the case with the people who are behind this project. So if you don't believe me, fine. If you do believe me, you should probably have yourself a bag of Saitama on Solana just in case something gets a little bit crazy, okay? But that's just my opinion. You do what you got to do. Remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.